know what? It'd be kind of cool to make a video of this instead. So I see that Master Far is on there. Thanks for joining us and Weird Fantastic Toy Adventures. All right, th thanks you guys for joining me. So um, I made a, a, um, a Hebro a long time ago that was laser power and basically I just pulled off his armor and stuck on laser power He-Man's armor and bada bing, bada boom, I was done. And just today when I was cleaning, I thought, you know what? I want to make him more laser power. Oh, it's kind of loud. Sorry about that. I want to make him more laser power than just an armor change. So I decided um, I was going to switch him out. And I thought, you know what? While I'm doing it, I should do a live video at the same time. Now, because this takes a little bit of uh, pulling pieces apart and doing it just right, uh, a key important factor is to make sure your water stays hot. So I got an extra thing of water in the other room that I can heat up really quick. And I got my little uh, thermostat thing to check it. Burp, to make sure it stays hot. And right now we're at 188. And just for fun, I also have my thermal camera. Let's see if we get this thing booted up. Boot, boot, boot. There it goes. Come on. Start. I don't know why it's taking so long. There we go. So I also have my thermal camera so I can check to see how hot that water actually is at any given time to make sure. So right now we're ranging at about uh, the bottom of it's 200 degrees and the top of it is a lot lower at 140. But we'll see how this works out. Um, I find that water needs to be pretty hot to get the plastic hot enough to uh, soften. So we'll keep tabs on that as we go. So we turn off my thermal camera so I don't kill the battery and we'll check it out later. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First order of business is to, uh, now if you, I have a link in the bottom and in that link in the bottom, I have uh, how I got the parts for this build. So let me go ahead and first stick them in there, then we'll talk. So I'll stick them into the vat, oh hot water. Ah, uh, poor Clamp Champ. Uh, reminds me of that Netflix show. Um, oh, what was that guy's name? Power Man. What's Power Man's name? Nick something, Nick Cage? No. Ah, someone's going to tell me. Power Man's real name. Something. Ca Luke Cage. Reminds me of Luke Cage when he has to get his skin to be impenetrable and he has to go in that crazy vat of stuff vat o stuff all right so if you take a look at the bottom i got a link of making your easy he-man custom laser power and it's this one right here that i made and i wanted a regular he-man that had a laser power sword so i literally pulled apart a laser power he-man and put all of the he-man parts on him in fact if you look he actually has the laser power in his back right there so it actually was quite the task to get this totally transformed over. So I had to swap out his uh, arms from the shoulders down, his loincloth, his legs. Well, I guess it's not that much really, but it was still a pain to do it. So that's what I did to make this cool laser power He-Man. And because of that, I have a whole bunch of leftover parts that are going to become part of my Clamp Champ Hebro. Or yeah, not Clamp Champ, I mean laser power Hebro. So... Uh, I have, of course, the backpack. Now, when it came to the shorts, I was trying to decide what kind of shorts I wanted. And I thought, do I don't need to use the, rate, the shorts he comes with normally. So I was kind of debating, and I kind of like these ones here. These would be kind of cool for my laser power uh, Hebro, I thought. It's something a little different than just the regular ones. But the blues just doesn't match. and would look kind of weird seeing this kind of purplish blue versus this kind of um, green blue so I decided not to go with that I kind of like these ones too they're so plain and I thought you know what just black and silver would be cool black goes with everything and then I was also kicking around these ones but these are a little too green and then I thought you know what I'm just going to stick with the old regular silver shorts so there we go there is the old regular silver shorts now I'm going to go ahead and uh, get those ready so let's take a look at our let me set this guy aside so I don't accidentally mess up this He-Man. Oh, this was so cool. I was pretty excited when I made him because as a kid, this would be like the ultimate. A light-up 
He-Man that has his regular armor on. You know, you can take him on He-Man adventures. Actually, I kind of wish they would have done something like this and just stuck the batteries inside of him. Just a regular looking He-Man, but, you know. But th this is close. He's got a little backpack, but... And it's funny, the batteries are so small for this. I probably could have actually built it inside of He-Man myself, but maybe, maybe later. All right, let me go and set him aside. I'm also going to set this He-Man aside too. And this is the original Laser Power He-Man that came with Classics. Ooh, ah. Uh, and he has this... uh crazy armor that goes on his arm too which originally for the toy i believe it was to transfer the power down his arm i'm not sure but for my uh for my uh he rover or hebro version i'm not going to use the armor on the arm just not a huge fan of it and i haven't decided what hands i'm going to use either i'm kind of debating whether to put on the silver gloved hands or just leave his hands regular skin tone. So I'm still debating. His cuffs are silver already, so I'm not gonna try to take these ones off. Um, even though they are actually a different style, but you know, I'm only gonna take this so far. All right, he's been soaking in there for a while. Oh, his legs are really rubbery. Burp. Rubber legs. And let me go ahead and pull them off. <sighs> you can do it, Clamp Champ, there we go. And while I'm at it, I'm just going to yank his boots off too because I know I'm going to swap those out as well. Ugh. All right, now the trick is to get off this loincloth. This is, this is pretty tough to do. So to do this, you want to use a screwdriver and you just want to kind of loosen it all the way around so it comes out a little bit. And once you get that so it can make sure there's no paint holding it in place or glue. Sometimes Mattel likes to use a lot of glue on this. And you want to rotate it 90 degrees. Roop. And we're going to reheat it right before we start pulling this off. So let me just dump this back in there because it cools down really fast. Just to get that rubber as hot as we can possibly get it so we can pull that loincloth off. And the rubber does heat up very quickly, so you don't have to do it too long. Put my lid back on there. And let's go ahead and... uh. Get this out of there. Whoops, this side. So you'll see as you pull this back, there's a slot right there. You want to take your screwdriver, put it in that slot. And once you have it in there, you then want to uh, work this all around, loosen it up, and then pull it down around his legs. Whew. And you can feel the rubber start to harden on you when it, that happens. You just got to reheat it. So let me stick this back into the vat of hot water again. And it does cool very quickly, but it also heats very quickly too. So just keep that in mind that it doesn't take very long to reheat it. It's better than having the shorts rip on you. So just keep reheating it as needed. Uh, there we go. All right. And clamp champ shorts are off. Now we're going to put these blue ones on instead. So to heat these up, same thing. We're just going to take and put them in the hot water. And again, they should heat up pretty quick because they are very thin as opposed to his legs. They take a long time to heat up. And same procedure. We're just going to stretch these over his legs. Now, when you do these figures like this, this side is the wide side. This side is the narrow side. You'll see what I'm talking about in the loincloth. I'll show you in a minute once I get this halfway up on the other shorts. Ooh. These ones are actually a lot easier because they're more rubbery than plasticky. So that's kind of cool. Now, once you have them close to the top, the tricky part now is to uh, flare out the belt into the seam of the figure. So you can kind of see how I'm working that around to get the seam to line up with the seam of the figure. There we go. And after you have it all lined up, just kind of shove it in there. 
Nope, the front's not quite lined up right. You can do it. Believe it or not, this is the hardest part of the whole entire swap. It's getting the loincloth back on in place. Right there, it's stuck. Right there. Now, sometimes you may have to cut the loincloth a little larger for the hole. And I probably should have done that because I can see now it's kind of having some problems right here in this one corner. And it may be that the design is just slightly different between the two figures, which can cause some problems. Yep, I probably should have done that. Well, I'm going to have to pull it back off, grab my scissors and cut around it. Let's see, one more chance and see if it goes in. Let me go ahead and heat it back up to cause this to shrink a little bit. I guess that's going to work. There we go. All right. Ugh. So my next step now is to uh, make these legs strong. You'll find as time goes on, these legs get really weak and they start to flop around. So what I like to do to do this is I like to use these O-rings right here. And I have a link in the bottom to go to my Hebrew page to find out what O-rings to use. Let me show you why I'm showing you this. Let me go and drop these boots into the hot water so they can start getting ready to go back on to Hebrew. So if you go to uh, he-bro.com, he-bro.com, um, I have the link down there in the bottom. Once you're there, you're going to scroll down. And hey, while you're at it, you can check out my uh, Laser Guns and Roses video. Go ahead and scroll down. And about halfway down, you will find a chart. And you can see this is the site right here. And this chart is O-rings used for, um, in various repairs. And right now, I'm doing the um, Masters Universe Classics Titan Leg Hip Joint. I use O-ring number 47. And the outside diameter is 1132. Inside is 732. The wall was um, 1 16th. So it just tells you the exact size I'm using. So you guys can find the different O-rings that I use for my fixes. And I try to update this once in a while, but basically there's my O-ring chart of all the different fixes I do on my website. So again, go to he-bro.com and on there you will find my site that has uh, those on there. All right. So, oh, you guys have been commenting a ton. Barbados Customs makes yellow armor. Yes, they do. In fact, that's where I get my heat. Hebrew armor all the time is from Barbados Customs. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, do those O-rings. So the way you do this is I get these pliers here. There's a link in the description to get your own. And then I just stretch the O-ring out to make it so that it won't snap on me. And you want to just start it slow, then spread it out more and more. And it works better with the legs off. And you want to do this when they're, they're colder. You can see his legs have cooled down a little bit. And then you just take and slide it over the leg, just like so. <sighs> Once you have it slid over, you just slide it right up the leg and into the joint. Dink, and there it is. So you can see this one has it. And this one does not. So I'll go into the other side now. Again, I use those O-rings from the website. Stretch them out a little bit. 
I keep rotating it so I don't get one side stretched out more than the other, so they don't snap. I've had these snap on me before, especially when you try to put them on sometimes right at the top of the leg. Just like stretching out a balloon before you blow it up. It's the same concept. And then you just slide it over the leg again. Bada bing, bada boom. And it will just pop right into place once it goes around. And there it is. And now the legs are a little tighter so he won't, he won't fall over so easy. So there you go. That is the trick to making your figures have tighter joints. All right, let's go ahead and uh, heat up the tops of these legs. And just take a few minutes. Just for kicks, let's check and see how hot our water is. I'm guessing it's cooling down a little bit, but we'll see. Starting up the thermal camera. See how cool that is. Burp, burp, burp. There we go. And it's still pretty hot, so that's cool. Not as hot as I'd like it to be, but still pretty good. So we'll go ahead and just uh, not change it out yet. I might be okay for this whole entire build. That'd be cool. All right. And of course the water is hotter at the bottom, so that makes my job a lot easier. Ugh. Someday I have to get some hot dog tongs. It'll make life even easier yet. All right, let's go and stick these legs on. When you go to put them on, look for the bump on the inside. And they slide in place. And if you get them hot enough, they'll just pop right back on, no problem. Dun, da, da. Now let's get his boots out. Let's see how well I can fish these things out of there. Erp. Now the hard part to figure out which is the right and which is the left because these boots are like not like normal boots. I almost wonder sometimes if they might have used the same boot for both sides on this figure. All right, let's take a look and see. I don't see any really distinguishing different marks. Let's see if they got an R or an L on them. I'm guessing they go like this. It has a slight curve. Let's go ahead and look at the fixed one that's not. Yep, I got it right because there's the printing on this side. So that's cool. Hooray. Luckily, I still have one to look at. But now you guys know the printing goes on the left. Oh. Yep, going to have to get some new fresh hot water. All right, let's go ahead and get some water going. Thought it was gonna work. I'll just toss these boots back in here while the other water is warming up. And while that's doing its thing, let's go ahead and keep building them. So, what do you guys think? Should I go with the silver hands or should I stick with his skin color hands? I'm really debating. I kind of like just to stay with his hands the way they are, so I'm not gonna use the arm piece. That might be cooler actually. go together sometimes you have to coach the little pieces to fit together with the screwdriver there we go 
Now, because his hand is so much smaller than the laser power hands, I'm gonna have to heat it up so it can stretch around the size of that. So let's just stick his hand in there. Sounds like my water's boiling in the other room, so let me go swap that out. And I'll be right back with some fresh hot water. All right, someone just posted they got the classics He-Man and Skeletor Origins. Nice. You know, I think it is actually called Laser Light He-Man. I think you're right. I'll have to look at one of the packages sometimes and see or look it up online. You know what? I have a pad right here. We can take a look. Let's go ahead and look it up really fast and see if it's laser light or laser power. Let's see, delete, laser light, E-Man. Ah. There we go. So this came from this set right here. Let's take a look and see what it says on the box. Oh, it does say laser power, he man. Look at that. Let's look at the old 80s toy and see what it's called. Let's see. Images. Yeah, people online are also calling it Laser Power He-Man. So, I guess I was wrong. It is Laser Power He-Man. All right. So, there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and pull those boots out of there. They should be well cooked by now. Now these boots are a little harder to work with because the plastic is different. There's a little bit harder plastic, so it's not quite as mel meldable as stuff I've used in the past. Whew, and they are really hot. Hot, hot, hot. There we go. Bump, 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 bump. Bump, 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 bump. Whew. Now his legs are kind of rubbery right now, but eventually they will solidify. So let's go ahead and uh, lay him down for a second. He was like a little chance and let's turn off the lights. Lights off. Oh, that's pretty dark. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'm glad I kept his hands skin tone it looks just it looks better because he has these little bracers on to have just the silver sticking out with the kind of weird let's go ahead and turn off his light and let's turn on his other light oh I also got a blinking mode too I think can you hold it on is that how it does it there it goes Womp, 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 womp. So that's kind of fun, kind of cool. Oh, I guess like it's solid on. His legs sure are rubbery. Anyway, that is how you make yourself a laser power. So I got it right. I'm going to change the title of this. 
laser power figure out of a non-laser powered figure. So you can change anybody now if you want to. You can even make a laser power man at arms. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Tell your friends. And I have to get back to cleaning because my place is still a disaster in here. See, that's the problem. Is you, when you start to do something like this, um, it's like, you know, you keep finding ways to put off doing what you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> hey, Steve. Happy New Year to you, too. Thank you. All right. So... Let me see, what did I call this video? Anyone have to check it out and see. Yep. I called it... Yep, I did call it Laser Power. Woo! At least I called it the right name, so that's cool. Alright. And I will see you guys next video. Tell your friends. And, oh, I got a bunch of stuff on eBay. And I'm adding more stuff. Check the link in the description and click it. If you want to see the stuff that I'm uh, getting rid of. Starting bid on everything so far has been $1. To keep things, you know, easy and... Um, so you guys can enjoy this stuff without paying or arm and leg. All right. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have, have a happy new year. Darth Hebro. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. All right. My leg on this is so far behind, I can't believe it. It's crazy. Bye now.